freaky. Serious me. Surprising. Enjoying every moment. Trouble. This program brought to you by the Leukemia Foundation. Go on, register now and take it all off in the world's greatest shave. Amber, honey, what's wrong? Sweetheart, do you need a drink of water? Can I get you something? No, no, I just, I just feel a little bit queasy. It's, it's my stomach. It's probably stress. Well, we know how to get rid of that stress, don't we? No more lectures, okay? Amber, I'm not going to ask you to give up your friendship with Tom. You know. No, but friendship is as far as it goes from now on. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Let's see those requisitions, port schedules. Mackenzie's the man in the Gulf. We have to have him. You tell him that I'm counting on him. This, here. Yeah. Keep me posted on that. Thank you. We'll get back to you. Wow. Hello. Hello. When I called, you said you weren't busy. Busy? No. I'm not. Should have been here before. Had a line going from the desk out to the hall. Oh. Everybody wants FaceTime with the boss. Well, they'll just have to settle for me now. Until the real boss gets back. Want something to drink? Sure. Water? Great. So it couldn't be easy, stepping in the way you have. Well, I'm certainly not my old man. You seem to be holding your own. Thanks. Ridge has been keeping me up to date on Massimo's condition. And I just wanted to check on you and see how you were doing. Doing fine. You would tell me if you weren't, right? Because we are still friends. I know I haven't been around much lately, but I... You're busy. Back at Forrester, you're raising a family. I'm sure you've got a lot on your plate. T-Bone. Hey, what's up, man? Where you been? I haven't seen you all summer. Ah, you know, I've uh, I've had a lot going on. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But you gotta fill me in later. I gotta scram. All right, dude. See you around. Stay cool, daddy. All right. <laughs> daddy -o? It's retro. <laughs> How are you? Couldn't be better. How about yourself? Busy. Work, school. Rick. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, I miss seeing you at Forrester. Yeah, well, you know the way things are between my dad and I. Right. But it's getting better. Now that Amber's left town. Now that she's back. Uh, what about the restraining order? Oh, that. Yeah, it was totally bogus. Amber and I are closer than ever. Stephanie. Thomas and I, we've already crossed that line, and you just said... You won't cross it again. Just stop? Yes. We're in love with each other. Amber, if you really love him, you will not complicate his young life with sex. It's not just sex, okay? It's an expression of our feelings and emotions and our, our commitment to each other. We'll find another way to express it. You're serious. You bet I'm serious. Our relationship with Thomas has changed. Okay, once you become intimate with someone, you create that special bond. You can't just go back. You can. And you will. He's 18, Stephanie. It's, it's not, not a matter of age. It's a question of maturity. 
My God, he's never even had a serious girlfriend. You're older than he is. You, you were married. He, he should be dating someone in high school, someone his own age, just having fun, not being concerned about some sort of commitment. He's not prepared for all of this. For what? For the risks, for the emotions, for everything that's involved. Uh. Amber? <laughs> The show transforming contestants from super size to super slim. They're seeing big results, but temptation comes in all flavours. I don't know why I'm crying. I shouldn't be crying. The biggest loser will be the ultimate winner. 9.30 Thursday. It's been almost three years now since Alan died. One minute we had this wonderful life. The next, well, the kids and I were alone. Your death would obviously have a devastating effect on your family emotionally. But what about financially? The funeral was hard enough, and then the bills arrived. Oh, there were the flowers, the casket, the cemetery, the funeral director. I was looking at over $5,000. $5,000. And I had to pay it then and there. I didn't have that kind of money just lying around, especially with Alan's salary gone, and his life insurance wasn't going to pay out for ages. Look, Alan was a good provider. He just didn't think about that sort of stuff. I wish I had, though. Now you can protect your family against the cost of your funeral with a funeral plan from Insurance Line. From as little as $1.52 a week, these plans pay out a lump sum up to $10,000 when it's really needed, usually within 48 hours. A funeral plan makes sense. I don't want to put my kids through what I went through. And from $1.52 a week, why wouldn't you take it out? I mean, I've paid more for a cup of coffee. And from 71 cents more a week, you can cover your whole family. Best of all, acceptance is guaranteed. That's right, you're actually guaranteed lifetime cover if you're under 70. No medicals, no nothing. It's easy. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. And it's backed by Tower, one of Australia's biggest insurers. Call 138898 now for a funeral plan from only $1.52 a week. It's secure, it's easy, and it pays out up to $10,000 when it's needed. Call Insurance Line now on 138898. The first 20 callers to take out a policy receive this will kit absolutely free. You could save hundreds of dollars on legal costs, so call 1388.98 now. $1.52 really is a small price to pay for peace of mind. 193! 193! Buy one, get one free. Can't separate your head from your heart? Text the word love and both your names to 193193 and we'll text you back your love compatibility, plus a free love poem. Remember love and both your names to 193193. The best of the Saddle Club. All the hits you love, plus heaps of fresh new tracks. Just have a and shake come on. It just keeps getting better now. In store now. Wow, this looks new. From now on, you'll be seeing lots of changes on Hungry Jack's menu. Healthy options for today's healthy lifestyle. A selection of tasty salads prepared fresh every day. Delicious light yogurts and fruit juices. Sounds good. Low fat oven fresh baguettes and nutritious fruity treats for the kids. Now you have a choice. We're all about fresh at Hungry Jack's. An important announcement to all Australians from Sir William Dean. At this critical time, we urgently need your help. Please call 1800 020 046 to support the Care Australia appeal. Did you actually throw up? Yeah. Why did you bother to come to work if you were this sick? I felt fine earlier. It just, like, hit me all of a sudden. 
I'm all sweaty and nauseous. Maybe I'm having a panic attack. That's it. That's it. It's it's the stress of a new job and everyone's coming down at me and Thomas and... I hope that's all it is, is an anxiety attack. You hope? Yes. It could be another reason and then you'd have every reason to be panicked. What? This nausea could be indicative of something. You could be pregnant. <laughs> no way. Amber, when you lost the baby, what exactly did the doctors tell you? Did they say that you couldn't carry another child to full term or that you couldn't get pregnant again? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. I think so. I don't know. It was so long ago and I just lost my baby and I was in shock. <sighs> Stephanie, will you take me home? No, I'm not going to take you home, but I am going to take you someplace. I've been keeping up with you. Word gets around the fashion industry. You're a major player now. Oh, the boutiques? No, 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 no. Those are my mother's. You're the president. Well, she's the fashion guru. I just sign the checks. And those checks will be coming in more than they go out, believe me. Well, let's hope so. I'm not sure if you're aware of how much power you're going to have. Power? Just a little store. These boutiques carry huge influence in the fashion industry. Your buyers could make or break a design house. What buyers? Oh, boy. You do need help. You offering? Would you accept if I did? Wait a second, so your dad dropped the restraining order against Amber? Yeah, it was either that or have me challenge him in court. I'm 18, there's no way it would hold up. I can see who I want. And he's okay with that? <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but he's dealing with it. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not giving him much choice. Well, why should I? I mean, it's none of his business, you know? Amber and I are adults. We have this adult relationship. Oh. Well, you know, you've been through a lot this summer. Yeah, it's all good, though. Grew me up. <laughs> when I think about how immature I was. Thomas, you don't think you and Amber are moving too fast? No. No, I... What does it even mean, moving too fast? According to who? I mean, as long as it feels right to both of us, what's the big deal? I don't see what everyone's worried about. Excuse me. Hello? Thomas, it's me. Amber, baby, what's up? Yeah, I, I'm... Tom? Grandma? Tom, I'm taking uh, Amber to the doctor. What? I'm going to take her to Dr. Dennis Sobel. S-O-B-E-L. He's at the Medical Arts Center. Why? What for? She's going to have a pregnancy test, Tom. Oh, God. I want you to meet us there right now. Okay, I'm on, I'm on my way. Thomas, is something wrong? I have to go. Okay, um, well, I'll see you later. Daddy-o. Coming up in 10 News, Mark Latham quits politics, citing poor health. Why the reigning US Open champion won't be sanctioned despite a positive drug result, and what the future holds for school leavers as the first uni offers are made. She lies about everything. Is there any chance the baby might have been gussed? You're asking me that after everything that I've been through. Just wait till you hear the next beauty. Do you believe me now? Neighbours, 6.30 tonight. Ready to get into shape for 2005? Then you're ready for Light and Easy's Freedom and Choice Plan. Be free from counting calories and points. Free from tasteless food substitutes. Free from joining fees and classes. You'll have delicious choices with over 60 dinners on the menu. And you'll get results. Like Jody, who lost 30 kilos. 
Join the revolution with Light and Easy, the good food company that makes weight loss a pleasure. Introducing a breakthrough for Veet. Now, you can shave without a blade. The new Veet Bladeless Razor Kit works with a three-minute gel cream. So there's no cuts, dryness or prickly stubble. Just skin that stays smooth for up to twice as long as regular shaving. If only every feeling lasted as long. New Razira from Veet. A feeling that lasts. If you're looking for great value phone and internet, things are looking up. Because the Optus Phone and Net Package has everything you need. Like dial-up internet with unlimited downloads, 15 cent local calls and your monthly phone line rental included. Plus up to 100 free local calls every month worth $15. Or for just $44.40 a month on a 12-month plan. So with Optus Phone and Net, you'll feel head and shoulders above the rest. Call now on 1800 500 444. This monster burst out and ate my whole guts and he ate my whole body and then he ate my cat. This octopus came out the bathroom and he grabbed me and he squeezed the blood out of me. A crocodile came up, bit my guts out and bit me into parts, pieces, and even my legs went that way and even my head went that way. I kept putting off quitting. I really knew I should give up, but a few of my friends quit and they put on a bit of weight and the thought of dealing with cravings and weight gain was just too much. Then I found out that not only can Nicobate 4 milligram lozenges control cravings, but they can also help me keep my weight under control while I'm quitting too. So far, it's looking good. And I'm feeling great too. Don't wait, you've got Nicobate, helping you stay calm, in control and quit. Register now for Australia's biggest triathlon for kids. The 2005 Sanitarium We Fix Kids Triathlon Series. Everyone that enters gets a t-shirt, bag full of cool stuff, a medal and an official certificate. So grab your mates and get active. Buy a specially marked pack of We Fix, then register online and become a We Fix champion. Sanitarium We Fix, the breakfast of champions. All Australian We Fix, the breakfast every day. 30 tonight. The surprise hit of 2004 has an Australian premiere exclusive. Interviews and gossip from your favourites, plus a sneak peek at the new season. A premiere OC special tonight. The first thing you need to know, these boutiques that your father bought, they're the most exclusive in the world. Well, it's not like he's a dummy. No, and neither is your mother. She's very well respected in the fashion industry. Oh, it's a good thing she's CEO. True, but she's going to be very busy taking care of your father, so there's going to be a lot of people knocking at your door. What for? For placement, shelf space. A few gowns in the window at Jackie M would make any fashion house a household name. Well, not my household. I haven't heard any of these people except for the name Forrester. That's because you shop for your clothes at an Army-Navy store. Look, believe me, these people know these names, even if they can't afford them. These boutiques have been trendsetters for, for decades. Now I'm a trendsetter? Yes, and you have a very big responsibility. Well, I better start practicing my eeny, meeny, miny, moes. Mm, you can leave that alone for now. You have an exceptional lineup. Even if you do say so yourself. Well, Forrester will never let you down. We're going to send you nothing but the best. Isn't it that way with everybody? Actually, no. Especially not with those so-called up-and-comers. Oh. I've been hearing some good things about, uh, Spectra. That's your name. I've been hearing good things about them lately. From Felicia. Yeah, yeah, she works over there now. She's never been one to look before she leaps. God bless her. Anyway, back to uh, Spectra, right? You think she made the wrong decision? The point is, I don't want you to make one. Nick, don't give Spectra Couture a second thought. Their designs do not belong in Jackie M.
have a seat. Dr. Sobel will be with you in a moment. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie, this is completely unnecessary. Well, we're about to find out whether it is or not. Hello, Dr. Sobel. Thank you so much for seeing us so quickly. Certainly. Uh, Amber, you think you might be pregnant? No. She's been nauseated. I had a tuna sandwich for lunch. Maybe it was bad. How many times do I have to say it? I can't get pregnant. Dr. Sobel, she's not certain about that. I lost my baby. There were complications because I only have one kidney. Hmm. What sort of complications? Uh, I had a, um, a renal artery aneurysm that ruptured. Um, I was hemorrhaging. They had to do emergency surgery, and, and whatever they did, it meant that I can't have kids anymore. Whatever they did? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the procedure was called. You know, all, all I know is that the doctor told me that, that I wasn't going to be able to be a mother, and I lost it, okay? Mm, that's understandable. Maybe if I talk to your doctor. Dr. Wilson, he's at the university. Go ahead. You can call him and ask him yourself. This is so pointless. No, it isn't. We've got to be sure, and this isn't just for your sake. It's for Tom as well. Fine. Just go get the stick and let's get it over with. The stick? Yeah, you know, positive, negative, the test. <laughs> we do have those, but a blood test would be more accurate. And then, um, I, I don't do needles. She'll do the blood test. Roll up your sleeve, please. Come on. Oh, well, I, 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 um... I have blood issues. It'll be okay. Um... Now, make a fist. You know, um... Okay, this, this is gonna this is totally feel just a little bit of a prick. Un um, unnecessary. You can relax. Almost. Mm. There. Yeah. Hold that. I'll get this down to the lab right away. Amber, the nurse said that... Oh, are you okay? I got here as fast as I could. I was just a little woozy. Dr. Sobel, this is my grandson. Tom, Tom, this is Dr. Sobel. Did I get here in time? Did you take the test? Could you really be... Pregnant, Tom? Next in 10 News, Mark Latham quits politics, citing poor health. Kim Beasley firms as his replacement. Why Svetlana Kuznetsova won't be sanctioned for drug use. And calls for a lamb ad to get the chop. Who's Sam Kekovich upset this time? She's a multiple Aria winner with attitude and the edge. I have a more raw rock and roll experience. Kate Sobrano knows how to find it. You've either got it or you don't. The X Factor. Seven to ten. This is the year to get your body into great shape. It's Jenny's January sale. Start with our new two-day detox. It's Jenny's January sale. Everyone gets 50% off their program. New clients also receive 50% off their first week of food. Call one three one double nine two. Another emergency, lads. Oh, no, it's a credit card again. It's your annual fee painful, love. Yeah. It's interest rate is 18% over 12 months. We need to stabilise at 12.4%. We can get it down even more to 4.9% for six months. You need emergency plastic surgery, love. Plastic surgery? Administering Virgin Credit Card now. 4.9% per annum for balance transfers. The Virgin Credit Card is plastic surgery you can't live without. Call 1339.93. Want breakout mobile performance that won't break the bank? Start with $500 off this compact wonder from Dell. With 512 megs of memory and powered by Intel Centrino mobile technology, this ultralight Inspiron 700M is ideal for people on the go. It comes with a CD burner DVD combo drive, so you can burn CDs and watch the latest movies on this 12.1 inch super clear wide aspect screen. Normally $2,499 delivered. This week it's just $1,999 delivered. That's $500 off. Hurry, this offer Friday. Call 133553 or buy online and upgrade to a DVD burner worth $149 absolutely free. And for the digital photographer, buy this Dell all-in-one. Perfect for printing out digital photos for only $179 delivered.
Introducing new Brumbies Ready Rolls with four delicious flavours baked inside. Cheese and tomato, banana and custard, bruschetta or peanut butter and honey. Right now, buy two sandwich loaves for just $4.50 and get a Ready Roll free. That's two sandwich loaves for just $4.50 plus a free Ready Roll. Back today. Liven up your garden with yucca canes and heads, $9.90. Silver Sterling, the fine leaf screening for toast room, 30 inches tall, $5.90. Find the cure at Chrysanaris. My mother's always telling me how cheap things used to be. But have I got news for her? A delicious Hungry Jack soft serve cone for an old fashioned 30 cents. 30 cents? Cheap as chips. Community, your community. Melbourne City Mission. This program brought to you by the Leukemia Foundation. Go on, register now and take it all off in the world's greatest shave. Jackie M. Boutiques cater to a very discriminating clientele. So you're saying you don't think that they would buy Spectra? No. Huh. Felicia seems to think that it's changing over there. Well, they're making a go of it. But Thorne would never be able to compete with Forrester Creations. You're not a little biased, are you? No, I'm just being honest. We have Ridge and Eric Forrester. Well, they got a couple Forresters over there, too. <sighs> Nick, I realize that you and Felicia have gotten close. But I have to tell you, from one fashion executive to the other, she's been out of the game for a very long time. And even when she was in it... What? Well, she's... she is talented, but she doesn't have any discipline. She was a rebel. She wouldn't take directions. She kind of stirred things up. Sounds a little like me. You know, I would never give you advice on your personal life. That is none of my business. But when it comes to fashion, I will. So if you ever need advice on these boutiques, please call me. I don't know much about the fashion world, and I can't say I really want to. All I really want is my father back behind his desk. I'm sorry. I'll keep you in my thoughts. So, I don't know anything about the fashion industry. <laughs> I, I don't get it. You told me you couldn't get pregnant. I can't. Then what are we doing here? We're wasting time. No, we are not. We're making sure about this. Well, you, you think your doctor was wrong? Well, she doesn't know. She doesn't remember whether she said that she can't carry a baby to full term or she could get pregnant again. Isn't that what you said? You were in a state of shock and you do not clearly remember what the doctor told you? <laughs> oh, man. Well, you wouldn't listen, would you? Yeah, I think it's a little early for I told you so's. I mean, we don't even know anything. How long do we have to wait? It's not going to be long. Dr. Sobel put a rush on it. You wanted to be a man. Will you leave him alone? Oh, now you're going to protect him? The situation is stressful enough. You don't have to make it worse. I don't think it could get much worse. You could be carrying his child, and he's barely more than a child himself. Stop it! Can't you see you're freaking him out? Well, somebody has to freak him out. This could be a terrible, tragic mistake. One that could easily have been avoided. Well, for all we know, I have the flu, or I just ate something really bad. Amber, I just hope that's all it is. Because I don't think you realize the seriousness of this, and I don't think you do either. When that doctor walks through the door with the results of that test, your life and her life can change just like that. You wanted to be an adult. 
Well, you got your wish. Oh, now you're just being mean. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm trying to make the two of you understand the gravity of this situation. Are those my test results? Am I pregnant? Stay with us now for the latest in local, national and international news. 10 News First at 5, coming up now.